The tropical oceans affect Earth's climate worldwide. And the corals that grow in our tropical oceans provide a powerful tool for reconstructing climate variability in the past and for studying the ways that our climate is now being altered by humans. Corals like this massive Parides colony grow a lot like trees. For every year that they are living on the reef, they produce a growth band in their skeleton. Parides corals usually grow at between one to two centimetres each year. So a coral like this one will have preserved a climate history spanning the past 150 years or so. In some places, fossil corals have also been preserved on land through earthquakes, tsunamis and storms. Fossil corals like this allow scientists to reconstruct tropical climate for hundreds to thousands of years back in time. To collect a coral climate record, scientists drill a core down through the layers of old coral skeleton. This skeleton is built from a calcium carbonate mineral called aragonite. The coral sometimes incorporates strontium instead of calcium into its skeleton. The amount of strontium that the coral takes up is directly related to the temperature of the seawater the coral is growing in. In warmer water, the coral incorporates less strontium into its skeleton. The coral skeleton also incorporates normal and heavy isotopes of oxygen from the surrounding water. Rainfall above the reef changes the ratio of heavy to light isotopes in the ocean water. And the temperature of the water also affects how much of the heavy isotope will be taken into the coral skeleton. In warm and wet climates, corals include less of the heavy isotope into their skeleton. It is these chemical markers preserved within corals that scientists use to reconstruct past climates. Underwater coral drilling like this is a slow and skilled process. It involves the underwater scientific drillers as well as a support team on the surface. Coral drilling is undertaken under strict permit conditions and every effort is made to minimise disturbance to the coral. The living part of the coral is restricted to a narrow tissue layer covering the outer surface of the colony. Drilling down through the coral mostly involves drilling through the old skeletal structure that no longer includes any living material. Once a drill core has been collected, the drill hole is plugged and sealed. This prevents any predators from getting inside the coral structure, and the surrounding living coral tissue soon grows over the drilling scar. Coral core samples like these are helping scientists to understand the natural variability of tropical climate and to detect the ways that human-caused climate change is now altering the tropical oceans.